Hey YouTube ladies, it's Megan. It is it's February 9th. It's Wednesday. What is it? February 9th. February 9th. Sorry about that. Um, so tomorrow I am 38 weeks. And yesterday we went in for our appointment. I'll just call it our 38 week appointment. We couldn't go in today because I knew that they would be closing the office again because of winter weather. Yeah. And so we scheduled it on Tuesday. So we went in. It was a normal appointment. Um, she checked me. Not dilated, nothing. She said nothing was going on. And then she sat down and talked to me about the induction. Oh. <sighs> And then she sent me upstairs for a non-stress test. We weren't able to get in for the growth scan, so she just wanted to see how the baby was doing. I've been measuring kind of big, too. Anyways, we go in for the non-stress test, and Hannah's heart rate's running really high. Um, in the doctor's office, it was running 160, and it's normally 140. And I think at one point, it was in the high 180s, close to 190s. And... Um, so they got a little concerned. They checked to see if I had a fever, if I wasn't feeling well, to see if I had the flu, to see if that was causing her some stress. Um, I didn't have a fever. I was sweating. I, I, I got really hot yesterday. And then um, they come in and they put an IV in me and give me some fluids. So... A non-stress test where I thought they were just strapping those monitors on my belly turned into um, fluid treatment, I guess you could call it. Um, I laid there for probably about an hour, 40 minute, 45 minutes to an hour, um, almost two bags of fluid, close to one and a half, and um, her heart rate was still going up and down between... Initially between 160 whew, and um, the one the high 170s, and then it started going down between the 140s and the 160s. And she was kicking up a storm. She was moving so much, and they were still kind of worried. But since they got her heart rate back down to normal, it was in the 130s at some point. So. Um, they like the fluctuations because that means she's active. She's not just like lethargic. Um, so being in like the 138s to the 160s was, is normal. So they told me um, I was going to go down for an ultrasound and doing like a, I don't know, it's called a BPP or body basal. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> they did um, a test on her. They checked the fluid around her, they checked her breathing, they checked her heart, they checked everything, and the nurses told me that if I sc didn't score high enough, if Hannah didn't score high enough, then I would be going back upstairs and probably having her yesterday, because she's safer out than in. And so they told me, um, don't leave, when you get done with ultrasound, don't leave, they're going to call us, they're going to fax us the score, and we're going to let you know if you need to come back up here. Or if you're welcome to go home. Well, it turns out that I must have just been dehydrated. Because after the bag and a half fluid and her heart rate went back up, we went down for the ultrasound. Her heart rate at the ultrasound was 138. She scored an 8 out of 8, which is a perfect score. Um, and the nurses upstairs told me I could go home, but if there were any signs... She said... They basically said... Trust your gut, and if anything feels wrong, go to the closest ER, since we live so far away, but to call them right away. Um, and I did reassure her, I didn't, it wouldn't be reassured, that's the wrong word. I did remind them that my sister lost her first baby at 39 weeks, and I didn't want to chance anything, and she said, don't worry, if we were worried at all, we would make you stay, especially with the weather coming. So after that, I felt really confident about coming back home. And waiting a week. So, um, I have a Doppler at home. I checked her heart rate today. She's doing good. She's moving. Everything's fine. Um, I'm drinking my water. 
what it was, ladies, is when you get a craving for cherry Pepsi, don't stop drinking your water altogether. I have been so tired of peeing all night long and all day long that I've just kind of been slacking on my water intake. And uh, I usually drink four of these. And the last week when we were, I was drinking my cherry Pepsi, caffeine free, Diet Coke, stuff like that. I was only drinking one water, and just it got to me, and it was affecting Hannah. So for the next week, I'm gonna drink as much water as I can. Um, induction next Tuesday night at midnight. So we'll probably leave the house around 10 p.m. Our, my family's going to be coming in. Hopefully they'll be here around 10 a.m. So I'll have a good half day with them. Um, they'll camp out at the house. We'll go in to start the Pitocin. And then they'll come Wednesday morning to join me. Other than that, other than the snow, nothing's been really eventful. Um... Nursery tour will have to be after Hannah comes. Um, because of the snowstorm and stuff, my father-in-law hasn't been able to bring us the crib that he finally got last week from Baby Zara's, which I will never do business with Baby Zara's again. You think if you were buying a $400 crib from some place, they would make sure they got it to you within the 7 to 12 days that they have posted on the crib instead of two and a half months. So anyways, um, hope you all are doing well, um, next video I'll do will probably be sometime after midnight, after they start my IV, possibly after they start the Pitocin, I will do a video, and that'll be my last pregnancy video, so, but that's it, I love you guys, and, um, I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.